Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing another ColourPop haul. I really stopped buying ColourPop for such a long time and lately they've had such good sales, like 25, 40%, up to 75% off and I'm just like, I need to buy these things. So now I feel like I'm over, just overly buying ColourPop. So I went from like nothing to now like a ton. But if you're excited to see what I got this time with the ColourPop sale, then go ahead and keep watching. I raised my chair up a little bit just because I felt like when I feel like I'm too low I feel like my whole body's cut off and you just see head and like sometimes I'm like oh I want you to see the top of my head but who cares about the top of my head nobody right right okay however I don't want to look like a floating head I, and because I have like this little double chin I don't want it to be the only thing that's on the frame so long story short I moved up my chair I am much taller now. Anyways, let's get into the ColourPop haul since that's what you guys came here for and not for me to talk about random crap that no one cares about. So let's get into this. The first thing I got was the Cloud Spun Palette. This is a nine pan palette. Obviously it is a pink theme. It was super cute and I was super excited. I don't have this one. I do have plenty of pink palettes. Avi, I just don't have this pink palette. So this palette is $14. I believe they're having a sale right now it's up to 75% off I don't know exactly if this palette is included but check it out because I do know they're currently having another huge sale I got this one full I paid full price for all of these but I do believe there's a bunch of palettes on sale so let's open her up ooh, ooh. oh my gosh so pretty I have been loving pinks lately I don't know what it is but they're just so so gorgeous so we have several mattes, some shimmers, and what looks flossy looks like a chunky glitter. Let's see, it is a chunky glitter. Oh, is that pan about to fall out? Oh, that was a loose pan. It moved when I swiped it. So it is a chunky glitter. Oh my gosh, I would use this like a topper. Ooh, ooh, yes, okay, I love that. So then I got this coconut, going coconuts palette, which I believe was also $14. Yes, $14. I'm not gonna swatch this one. I'm gonna just open it and carefully open it because I'm putting this in the current giveaway I'm doing if you don't know about that it'll be right up here you can check that out once you're done watching this video but this will be in it so I got this one solely for the giveaway it is just a beautiful and stunning neutral palette because another palette I have in the giveaway is the Huda Beauty uh retrograde palette and it's very colorful so I didn't want to put another super colorful palette in there so I got a very neutral one to kind of go with it I think in my next video it's going to be up on Friday I'm going to be doing the video itself but then either towards the end or in the beginning I'm going to kind of do a what's in the giveaway situation so you guys can see it um, and determine whether or not you want to enter it but this is going to be one of the things that is in my giveaway so I'm going to put this off to the side so it doesn't get messy because I don't ever want people thinking like I'm giving them used makeup I would never that's gross we're in a panini I'm gonna put that back in there all right so the next thing <laughs> I wasn't gonna get it I wasn't gonna get it but I did get it I got it my husband's gonna be so excited I got it so this is the Mandalorian the child palette how cute come on how could I not get this I won't be using this this is a collector item I do collect makeup because eventually eventually I'm going to have my own beauty room studio content creating room whatever you want to call it and it's gonna be decked out with like collector piece makeup and I'm so excited. So I like, I do like to collect a lot of makeup when it comes to that. So this is the palette itself. Like the colors are so pretty. I would love to use that, but I'm just not. And then look at the cute, <laughs> the cute details in it is so cute. Cutest in the galaxy. So stinking cute. I can't wait to show my husband this. He is. <sighs> Man, if Star Wars was a lifestyle, actually it probably is for him. He just, everything, yes. Yes, 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 he loves it. I do watch it and I do enjoy it from time to time, but he definitely, <laughs> he's definitely a Star Wars fanatic. Let's just, let's say that. So the child palette was actually $16. And then I got this Animal Crossing 
set, which was $48 for all four shadows or all four shadow palettes. I don't know anything about Animal Crossing. And to be honest, this was one of the things that was on my not gonna buy list, but then wound up being something that I bought. I just thought they were so cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna buy it. So it's Nook, Ink, Five Star Island, What A Hoot, and La Belle of the Ball. La Belle of the Ball? Don't know. Again, I don't know anything about the Animal Crossing. I know that it's a game, and I know that it was really big during um, quarantine, but as for like it specifically, I don't know. Oh my god, these are so gorgeous. Oh, so they're four pan palettes, and look at that. Oh, so these I will be using. Um, I'm sure somebody somewhere is probably like, no, it's a collector piece. I'm not gonna collect them, but I do think that they're so stinking cute. So if this was your jam, then this would definitely be something you want to get. Look at this. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, ColourPop. Oh, I knew this was gonna be orangey. This is so pretty. Oh. And then we have a little purple moment, which I don't use too much purple. I probably should start using more purple, but I just really don't. I love purple. I love purple shadow. I just haven't really hasn't been my vibe lately like greens and pinks are where I'm at right now so and it comes with like this little holder so we'll see to be determined will I use these will I not what do you think should I use them let me know down below should I collect them I need to know I need all the answers I got the new four pan palettes that they just came out with a couple weeks ago which I guess it doesn't matter because they've also launched new stuff since then that is, see, the one thing that I did, the reason I stopped buying from ColourPop, they just launch so much stuff that it's unbearable sometimes. But I like to grab a few things here or there, okay? So, and I will do a look with these if you guys are interested. Again, just let me know down below so I can get them up for you. I originally went on there to get these. Like, these were the things that I wanted and somehow I got all this other stuff in my cart. Not the point. But I went on there to get the one color I don't think I have. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think, cause I got five out of the six. There was one that was sold out, so I got these. And then I saw that there was a whole bundle and I was like, oh my God, why didn't I order the bundle? This was after I had made the purchase. To realize that the bundle was exactly the same amount as buying six of these palettes. Yes, I would have gotten the one that I wanted, but at the same time, you're not saving any money. So ColourPop, I'm confused. Like, are you, are, I feel like a bundle, it's supposed to be cheaper. Like it's supposed to make you want to buy the whole bundle, like an advantage of some kind. I don't know. So I have Citrus Fizz. These are so cute. Like the packaging is so cute. Also PSA, the Animal Crossing palettes you can get individually. They're $12 a piece. So again, the same exact price <laughs> as you would get these four, which by the way, $12 for one of these four pan palettes seems a little bit pricey for ColourPop when this nine pan palette was 14. So that's a little, to me, I just don't understand why this was 14 and one of these is 12. So maybe it's just because of the collab. I don't know. Who, who knows? And then these four pan palettes were $9. So I'm not understanding the price difference, okay? I just don't, that confuses me. This one is Citrus Fizz. I will tell you the packaging on these reminds me of the packaging on those long skinny pans. It's just kind of basic and cheap and maybe that's why that one's a little bit more expensive, but it's just, there's no mirror. It's kind of cheap, but let's look at the colors. So that is so pretty. And let me tell you why I got these because I wanted to show people <laughs> Miss Kim K. <laughs> I don't have anything against her or her family, whatever. Um, this is no hate, kind of. She came out, KKW Beauty came out with eye contour palettes. Um, if you don't know what that is, check it out on Instagram or on her website. So basically the eye contour is just like this, like this kind of color and this kind of color, but that's all you're getting. And they were like 24 plus dollars maybe, or right around 24. I don't remember exactly. It was like in the 24 area. So I got along because I was livid about it. And I guess it's like, okay, first world problems, of course. But to me, this is the same exact concept and it's $9. Or like using your bronzer or the nude shades you already have in the palettes that you already have. Like I just felt like that was definitely a money grab on KKW Beauty and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of was like, oh, 
Oh. So I don't have anything against her or the brand. I just think that that was very, um, I don't know what the term is that I'm looking for. It was just very much a money grab. And it's like, you're really tricking your followers or following to think that they need an eye contour pal. Who is believing this? If you're watching this and you're like, yes, I need that. I need to pay $24 for that. Please comment down below and let me know why. Because just to me, as a makeup person, and even a person in the beauty community, I, this is what I do. I, I buy things that are ridiculous and I review them for you guys. But even I was like, oh no, no. Uh, no, no, Miss Kim. <laughs> No, no, you're not getting 24 of my dollars for two nude shades that I have a plethora of or could use my bronzer or buy this for $9 and you get four, I get two shimmers as well. So to me, that was why, that was why I bought this was to prove a point. Like this is $9. Kim's is what? $24? Should I buy it anyways and do like a here here? No, because I'm not supporting that. I just think that it is definitely a money grab. I don't know. To do that to your following, because they will follow her everywhere and that's fine. They love her, they adore her, and that's fine. I just think like someone's got to wake up and be like, no, I'm not fucking buying that, Kim. Why the fuck would you even do that? Excuse my language. This is the four swatches. I just wanted to kind of give you like a brief swatch. I'm not going to swatch every palette, but I just wanted to kind of give you a brief swatch of one. You get two mattes, you get two shimmers. These seem really nice. Um, the shimmers I feel like could be a little bit better, more like pow. Uh, the mattes seem very on par with ColourPop's formula. However, I will be doing looks with these just to review them. Probably not like each individual look on a video. I might just pick one and do a look with it because no one wants to see five of the same videos with different color palettes. I think for $9, it's not bad. It's definitely travel friendly. You just toss it in your purse. Like this is something I would take to work with me. I would put it in my bag and call it a day. All right, so this is the next one and this is Creamsicle, which is kind of weird because it's not really orange. Um, I know it kind of looks creamy orange, but they're more like red tones, like pinky, like pinky salmon red tones. See, I'm just picking at this point, but they're really cute too. Is this probably the best quality ColourPop has? Probably not. They were $9, but I definitely think it's something to have in a hurry. I think it's something cute to just toss in your bag. If you're traveling, they're very small. So I love that. I think if you're a makeup artist, these would be kind of cute too to have. Like they're not bad quality, but I mean, they're easy. You can see like the colors right through it. I feel like that'd be cool. I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I don't know. But if you are a professional makeup artist, would you want something like this? Let me know. So this one is the next one and this is Sparkler and it is just some dark warm browns with some beautiful, oh God, this is gorgeous. Beautiful shimmers. This one is Sorbet. It's just a bunch of wine red colors. <laughs> this one is really pretty too. I love these actually. Mocktail is the next one. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this one is like my favorite. That, this gold color with this pinky shimmer and then this brick color. Ooh. Oh my gosh, okay, this one. This is pretty, I would love to do a video with this one. But that is all of them. I will probably only be doing one video on YouTube with these and then the rest will be going on my TikTok just cause they're small. So I don't think I wanna do five different videos of the same formula of palette, just different colors. So let me know if you guys wanna see or which one you wanna see in a YouTube video and then the rest will go on TikTok. But that is it for my ColourPop haul guys. It wasn't super big this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked all the things I got. What was your favorite thing that I got? Do you have any of these? Are you entered in the giveaway? If you're not, why not? And as always guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss out on those and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.